Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. You can do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman for uh, some fantastic beard products that'll make your beard look and smell great. You can also go to TCG Player using the affiliate link below and shop there to help support the show. And last but absolutely not least, go to GreyVikingGames.com with the link below to get those sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we're playing Bant Flicker uh, by user of the channel Quite Bored. His name um, hopefully is not a uh, condemnation of my channel. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, this Bant Blink deck essentially is a deck where we, uh, we get a lot of value with ETB abilities. And Soul Hoarder gets large and we kill our opponent. Now... We have two Ephemerates. Uh, these are very helpful cards. We get uh, some extra value. Since they're at instant speed, we can do some fun stuff with things like Skyclave Apparition. Um, at least Spellbinder is just nice to do. But yeah, we can have some fun things with Skyclave Apparition. Just get some fun stuff there. And then, of course, it has Rebound, which means we get to do it again. Uh, four Lenoir Elves allow us to more or less guarantee we get to our fourth land, since we are only playing uh, 21 lands. Four Drenith Magistrates are decent in the deck, and the reason they're decent in the deck is because of the fact that it allows uh, us to not have to worry nearly as much about players who are trying to cast spells in the graveyard, uh, cast foretold spells, or cast spells from their library with things uh, that cheat them out by casting them from the library. Four Prosperous Innkeepers, very helpful card. Uh, one, it is a bit of a ramp card since we can uh, grab this treasure and use it to have a collected company on turn uh, three. Uh, so both of these essentially can, can help us get a company on turn three. And then two, uh, since we're going to be having so many creatures enter the battlefield, uh, we'll be gaining a decent amount of life, which is very helpful against the more aggressive strategies, especially when you consider the fact that um, our Soul Hoarder uh, will also get larger. So we have a, a big wall and a lot of life. Very helpful. For uh, Elite Spellbinders, we essentially, the idea with this is um, we just we just make everything our opponent's hand cost more, and then we beat them in the air with a three, uh, a three power flyer. Three Militia Bugler, for the most part, it can get essentially everything in the deck. The only thing that it can't hit, obviously, are the Ephemerates, the Lands, the Spellbinders, and the Companies. So, you know, altogether, not too much. And it's a Vigilance creature, sure, cool, awesome, cool. For Skyclave Apparitions, uh, it, it enters the battlefield and exiles things, which is uh, it's pretty sick. And then their token, we don't care nearly as much about. But what's nice, um, and I alluded to this earlier, is you can cast this. When it's ETB triggers on the stack, you can ephemerate it, so that'll have the leave the battlefield trigger, uh, and then it'll enter again, and you can target something else. Now, uh, that first thing that you target, or the second thing that you targeted, uh, will go under the, essentially, quote-unquote, under the Skyclave Evaporation, but the first one, that's just gone, and it's no longer attached to Skyclave Evaporation, because the, technically the apparition that it was under was flickered. So that's cool. Uh, three Glass Pool Mimics. This can be a land if you have to, but it can also just come in as a copy of anything that you need. Three Deputy Retention. Uh, fun fact, it uh, exiles things. But this can exile more things than Skyclave Evaporation can. It's just slightly worse uh, because we're, with this, they get a Garbo token. This, they get the thing back when Deputy leaves, which is not nearly as good. Four Soul Hoarder. Uh, kind of the point of the deck. When, when stuff gets exiled, we get to make this larger. And at the beginning of our end step, we can exile a creature that we control and return it. It's great. It's absolutely fantastic. For Collect Company, um, I, I think you may have noticed that all of our creatures uh, are three or less. Meta Base, two Light of the Hydra, helps. Sideboard. Now, I didn't, once again, I did not make any of this deck. This is a viewer deck, and uh, I thought it was cool. So they decided to uh, give it to me. Three Run of Fowls. Now, they initially had one run of foul, and I asked them, what's with the run of fouls? And they told me, let's see if I can find it quickly. Do, 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 do. Uh, it deals with Dragon Rage Channeler, and it also seems to be able to kill a bunch of other annoying cards. I thought they said... I thought they mentioned all the cards they could kill, but mostly it's for Darcy, which I didn't know was her nickname. But yeah, you just force someone to, to sacrifice a, a flying creature. Cool. Two Declaration Stones, some more removal. Two Rest in Peace against Graveyard Strategies. Uh, three Containment Priests. Now, I don't exactly know why a Flicker, desk, a flicker deck is going to be using Containment Priest, but my guess is that they plan on not flickering as much, and this is just 
to help stop other more degenerate decks. Um, luckily, this is a choice. You may exile. You don't have to. Um, but, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I lied. Apparently, there's three decorations in stone. This game is just garbage. Um, and then four Thalias, because we aren't playing very many non-creatures, and sometimes our opponents do, and we don't want them to. So let's hop into some his traditional historic ranked. Hope all of you have been having a good time. Hope all of you have been excited for the new cards that are being spoiled freaking constantly for the new set, which, frankly, uh, I am. Especially the, uh, the Mythic Zombie. My opponent's name is Cocaine. I'm disappointed. But yeah, no, I'm really excited about the, the Mythic, uh, essentially multi-kicker zombie. Oh, look at, look at this pet. Uh, I will keep this. Look at this. Go away. That's so cool. This is, this is my absolute new favorite pet. Um, so we're going up against a deck that is aggressive. And when I say aggressive, I mean very aggressive. Um, we are going to lose life here to play the elf, but we kind of have to, which is not great. Um, we obviously hope that our opponent doesn't bolt the bird. Um, if they do, we have to lose another two life, which, again, is not really what you want to have against the, what I assume to be mono red, more burn style deck. Um, I'm not going to block because I definitely need this. Um, they could have, like, Light of the Stage and Skewer the Critics style things. Um, again, we do have ways of gaining life in the, in the deck, mostly with Prosperous. Okay, this is not too bad. We discard a card... Um, I'm going to discard the Bugler? I think I'm actually going to discard the Deputy. Because it's not like a permanent solution, essentially. Uh, I do want to play this tapped. Do I want to play this tapped? Yeah, I really don't want to lose any life, so we're just going to play the Draneth Magistrate here. We can block this, or our opponent can waste three damage uh, of burn on it. Either way, I'm fine. Jathos looting, that is fine. Although, I guess maybe I don't... I don't know what my opponent's playing? The Crocs just still makes sense in kind of a black-red burny style deck. But the Faithless looting, not as much. Madness. Get exiled. Oh, okay. My opponent is smart enough to know not to cast those, I guess. So it's a madness deck. Sure. I block that all day, I think? Do I block that all day? I don't actually know if I do. Oh, I'm dumb. I was thinking of, um... I was thinking of Containment Priest. They literally couldn't. And I, I think maybe they're trying to figure out why. Yeah, I think they might be trying to figure out why they just couldn't cast those. It's my Draneth Magistrate. There we go. Yeah, they just cannot cast spells. There you go. From anywhere other than their hands. So they can't flash this back. They can't uh, escape that. Hey, look, it's Bone Shards. Um, I think it's a reasonable point to exile this Bowman Courier. This does need to come in as a land. Um, oh. Well, I feel a little dumb. I guess I'll do Bugler. I didn't realize I didn't have double white. Wow, okay, I whiffed. That is statistically improbable, but um, very evidently not impossible. Now, if my opponent does play Black Source into Kroxa, that's fine, as long as I can draw a resource. <laughs> and it does appear that they're going to be kroxa ing. They are. So, actually, like, in this matchup, I think it's correct to bring in the Containment Priests. Although, I th mm, maybe that's not the case. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Spellbinder. I don't actually think it's 
good. Fudge. That's that's not great. Huh. Cause I really needed oh man, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't have gotten rid of Deputy of Detention. I legitimately forgot that I didn't have a uh, double blue. Um well, shoot. Because now they can sack the Bomat Courier and essentially refill. So that's bad. So... I'm just going to Soul Herder, I guess? Um, I guess technically this can be something else. While Soul Herder can only be Soul Herder. This can be a Soul Herder, but it can also be something else. So that's why I chose that. Opponents, let's see. Yep, they're going to attack. I'm going to discard this Militia Bugler. I'm going to block the Bomac Courier, but I'm fairly certain that they're just going to... Sacrifice it. I will take six. I'll be sad about it, but I will take six. Yarp. There goes the sacrifice. Oh, cool. Of course. Yeah, we got pretty boned, unfortunately. The magic did, like, works very nicely uh, in this matchup, but, uh, yeah, ow. Looting, sure. Do we see more madness cards? We do. We see we see two more madness cards. Uh, so I assume they're gonna hit my face and just cast the imp. They could kill Bugler. They kill my elf. That's probably better. Yeah. All right. Pretty rough hand. Um, we're definitely bringing Containment Priest. If you discard this card, discard it into exile. Okay. I do still think that Rest in Peace might be fine. Yeah, I think it might be fine. Um, Thalia... I mean, they did, they are playing a decent amount. I think Thalia is worth it as well. So what are we taking out here? I do think we take out the Ephemerates. Um, I can take out all of the Soul Herders. Hmm. I got one company. One mimic, two soul herders. I thought I had the bugler. Um, Spellbinder is also not super fantabulous. We're going to... Man. We're going to drop down to one Soul Herder. I don't, I don't know if that's right. Because the deck is kind of built around Soul Herder. But, like... In this situation, I do feel like we have to go whole hog into not letting them do anything. This hand is just, like, diametrically worse. I guess, I guess we can play this on turn two, this on turn three making one of these, this on turn four making one of these. So, I think I kind of have to keep it. Is gonna come back in. I love, I love my little, my new little pet. It's absolutely great. And he's laughing and every. Oh, I love this. I love this little guest. And when a creature dies, he takes their soul. Isn't that weird? 
I'm going to cast. Am I going to cast the Magistrate? And Darfina wasn't cast. Madness is cast, right? Cast it first, Madness cost, yeah. I am going to hope that they don't have a Bone Shards here. Don't have a Bone Shards. Okay. I'm hoping, as well, that they don't have Instant Speed Removal, because this will just die. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we have a little bit of redundancy. Do I just hold up Containment Priest? I don't know. Radiosaur, hello. I think I'm going to cast Soul Herder here. Because I will need to create a body that is... That's the wrong one. I guess it's technically fine. <laughs> um, I will need to create a body that... Um, can deal with things like Regisaur until I grab my um, apparitions or stuff. Season Pyromancer, okay. That's just an exile, yeah. Anger of the Gods. That's unfortunate. I do still have Containment Priest, which is... You. That's enough containment priest, which can be helpful. Your madness is moot. See, that's just rude, though. I could have shocked myself to kind of prevent that from happening, but like. I'm very close to dying. I guess I guess it wouldn't have changed the clock, so maybe I should have. Ow. So I'm gonna cast this and then I'm immediately gonna draw a collected company. I really need a Skyclave or a um Deputy. <laughs> Fuck you. Um I guess I block with this. And then collected company. I do have two more magistrates on the deck. So you can cast a thing here. Okay, they do that. I literally have to block. Interesting. Oh, look. Two cards that I very much am happy about seeing. <laughs> well, I'm just worried about another... Um... Anger of the Gods at this point. But there's not much I can do. I don't control. That's that's always fun to see. I'm just going to hit the Magistrate again. And I just literally have to hope that my opponent does not have a uh, Anger.
Hey, look, I stole my soul. Um. Okay. Madness Delirium seems pretty decent. I had a lot of cards for it. And I still am going to lose. Horribly. Taking the three. Aren't they shock? Nope. That was a bit of a lucky draw. Huh. Very unfortunate. Really just needed to find an answer for um for the creature earlier. I, I wouldn't have expected an anger of the gods. So it's, it's possible I could have played around that, but I just did not see it coming. Then if you're disappointed with this deck, uh, blame, uh, blame quite board. I get to, I get to just like shove all of the blame aside. It's great. That's why I love playing, uh, viewer decks. What the hell is going wrong with these leaves? Y'all seeing this? These things are headbanging, man. Okay, they're still kind of freaking out. Kahira? Oh, that's always fun. Well, oh, look at that. It's it's control. Who'd have, who'd have thought? Nope, leaves are still freaking out. These ones are, are fine now. Well, that that's something you love to see. So just cast this, I guess. Oh! Okay. Seems they've calmed down. If they counter this, it's like, whatevs, I guess. Oh, hey, look, they didn't counter it. Uh, this helps against Foretold. Um, they did just... They just hurt themselves. They did it again. Very interesting. Um, I think we just Skyclave that... Got Spellbinder. I think I'm going to Spellbinder to get that train rolling. We have two memory lapses, which is not great. Um. Damn, I really needed them to only have one memory lapse. Although I guess they still could have played it. Because there's only two more. Um, damn. Iteration's a choice. I think I'm actually going to go with Iteration. They have two memory lapses, so I don't really think it helps me you to not. So if they want to use the Narset here, they do. You are my thoughtfulness before action. Another Tevers. And so they're probably just going to play Steam Vents tapped. Well, I guess they might play uh, Glacial Fortress untapped. No. I am going to use Mork. And... All I can do, really, is just play into the counters. Oh, you know what? That was dumb. I should have gotten rid of one of the memory lapses. Because when they play Teferi, they can plus it. And they'll still be able to counter. Yeah, that was a oops. Um, I can keep Teferi honest. Oh, right. I forgot these two work together real nicely, actually. Um, so yeah, at the very least, I can keep Teferi honest. That was uncalled for. Just cast this again. It gets countered. Yep. Let's 
Let's skip to the good part. Okay, so at this point, it's very possible they've drawn a board wipe. And I will be more or less screwed. Because I really need this. I, I really needed the multiple elite spellbinders. Yeah, I totally forgot about the fact that Drenith Magistrate works really nicely. Interesting. And they shock. To cast Kira, and then they hold up two mana. Alright. Um. First things first, I'm going to attack this. I'm going to cast this. And just hope my opponent doesn't have a counterspell. They drew another counterspell. They drew a third memory lapse from the top 16. Awesome. I'm glad I've been time walked for three turns in a row. Let's slow this down. You need to take okay. Time. I can still kill this Teferi, potentially. Teferi obviously not going to block. Let me know if you're up for round two. Another tappers. Trust me. You'll th you know what? Pluses this time. Hmm. They, they have a cycling shark typhoon here. Oh, no, they're freaking out again. A commit. Uh, maybe I should have cast Draft Magistrate, actually. So they can just cast memory. Okay, they pay four for an express iteration. That's fine. Well, I guess they could blow up the board now and get a free to fairy, which is almost certainly what they're gonna do. They attack here because they know this is gonna die. What? They have another counter. I'm very confused. They did have a counter spell. Ah. Well, that sucks. Fuck. God damn it. I have to hope that they use this to draw a card. Or draw a two card here. One, two, three, six. Fuck. So if I choose the Wrath of God, they do that. I think I have to choose Narset here. I was not prepared for this. I'm very confused as to why they didn't just counter my Elite Spellbinder. Because they had the ability to just ruin me. By just casting Narset. Am I gonna block this? Um. I guess not. Because there's a non zero chance that they don't wrath. But they do, which makes sense. I think I'm just gonna concede this if one. You show remorse. Got it. Go into the sideboard, grab my Thalia's, and that's literally it. Um, my prisons are slightly less good here. 
ephemerates can potentially still do work, but hmm. Yeet on mimic. I'm gonna yeet two mimics. Get rid of a sky skyclave. Get rid of one ephemerate. My reasoning there essentially is uh, mimic isn't going to do us nearly as well. Um, as as a clone, because of the fact that my opponent runs board wipes, um, and I wanted to make sure that um, I didn't have as many dead draws, so I will keep this. Play this into this. I'm just now once again realizing that I don't have double whites. Quite bored. Your mana base is bad. You should feel bad about that. Yeah, go with Lair to this. Never mind. Lair into this is significantly better. Because now they can't counterspell my turn three card. And I am just going to cast Soul Herder here. I will do that, because I don't think at the moment they have anything that they can really do. Let's make my creature slightly larger. Yeah, but essentially what I want here is a late spellbinder. Bugler. Probably fine. Um, do I want to cast Bugler first? Or attack first? I think I would rather them counter Bugler than mess with my board. They're thinking about it. Ah, okay. They're just going to kill Soul Herder. That's not great, but fine, I suppose. Um, we'll grab another Bugler, I guess. And we'll attack. A little unfortunate. But they at least still can't Wrath this turn. Okay. An additional lands. What did I see last time? Commit they can't cast. They can cast Lighting Helix. I think I'm going to cast Militia Bugler first here. Yet again. This is just to see essentially if I can get through for more damage. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this just means that I'm safer to attack here. Now, unfortunately, my opponent has free reign to just cast a Wrath here. And since... Okay. Interesting. Um... I don't think it's safe for me to attack with Thalia. I'll attack with Bugler because Bugler means less. Yep. That's precisely why I did that. Yeah, at least Spellbinder would have been fantastic, like, at any point during this game. That's fine. I'll deputy that. It's not a great trade off, but. what I had. I'm just waiting for the board wipe. I mean, if I top to collect the company, it's not as bad. Okay, expressive iteration for three. It's not too much of an issue. Part of me wishes I could deputy of detention my own deputy of detention. They shock themselves, so they have a two mana play that they want to use. Just going to attack here. Looks like it's going. Oh. Might be a lightning helix on Thalia. Before damage. 
Burning hands, sure. I have another one. I don't like how much mana they're getting access to. My Thalia can only go so far. Maybe I should have taken more Skyclay by Persians out. Hey, look, it's Day of Judgment. The only, like, saving grace here is the fact that I have, um, Lair of the Hydra. I can cast this and then Lair for one. I don't even know if that's worth it. I think it's better just to... Man, I can only Lair for three? And that's just straight up in, uh... Lightning Helix Range. Does this become green? It does become green. So the Burning Hands can even kill it. I think it's still, like, the best shot I have? Alright, cool. Got through. That's nice, at least. Can do this if they play a Planeswalker. Can do this if they... I don't know, play something else. Yeah, I really need to uh, collect a company or Spellbinder in this situation. I think those are kind of like the only things that I can't even like get value out of at this point. Shrew? Okay, they can play that Tept. They have five mana, they play a Teppers. They're gonna plus. I know my response. Hurry! Then I'm gonna cast Deputy, they're gonna counter it, and then I'm going to concede. Hmm. It appears quite bored, uh, owes me an explanation. Let's uh, let's go back and look at the uh, look at this message here. Good versus most decks, and definitely one of the grindier decks I've played. Well, um, here's the thing, quite bored. Uh, I got screwed. I blame you. <laughs> no, it is fine. Uh, anyway. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you find links down in the description below. You can also sub to me on Twitch. Uh, you can become a channel member. All that stuff is awesome. But if you can't or don't want to support financially, you can technically do so by just liking, commenting, and subscribing. All those things really help me out. Um, they shove my video in the face of more people. And more people means um, YouTube will give me uh, a couple more pennies for everyone that, <laughs> that watches. Anyway, like, subscribe. Until next time, I'll be one.